Welcome to the mathematics class. We would like to continue in this topic of loci and this time we want to look at the perpendicular bisector locus. The, the, the title itself suggests that somewhere along the line we are going to draw a perpendicular. Now, the locus, the locus of a point that moves in such a way that it is always equidistant from two other fixed points. In our previous lessons, we have looked at a point that moves in such a way that it is equidistant from another fixed point, and uh, we got that the, that was the uh, circle. Then, we looked at a point that moved in such a way that it was always equidistant from a fixed line and in that case we got a, a parallel line now we are on our third one and this one is called the perpendicular bisector locus and it is the locus or the path followed by a point which moves in such a way that it is always the same distance from two points, like you can imagine there was a point A here, another point B here, there is a point that moves such that at one point it is here, same uh, the, this distance from point A and that distance from point B, this B, and then we are told these two distances must be equal. So what we are saying is, as that point moves, maybe from the midpoint here, you see the, the, the point here, the first point here is the midpoint of the line joining A to B. Because the midpoint now shows us that um, the, the, our point is this distance from point A, let's say this point A, and this distance from the other point on the other end. So when you are given a question like that, we are told, draw the locus of a point that moves such that it is equidistant from two points A and B which are five centimeter apart it means the first thing we need to do is draw the line joining point A and B then our very first point which is equidistant from A and B is the midpoint and when we get the midpoint we look at the other uh, points that are going to be equidistant. So we would like to do that. We will need to draw a straight line. And on that line, we will need to locate our point A and point B, making sure that A and B are five centimeter apart that means you go to the ruler and get the five centimeter five centimeter and then we mark that five centimeter on our straight line so we mark clearly point A and point B now these two are five centimeter apart Okay, I said we need to step that distance on the meter rule. I've just taken an estimate for purposes of demonstration, but you need to step that distance properly on the rule. Now the question, draw the locus of a point that moves such that it is equidistant from two points A and B, five centimeter apart. So I now have my points A and B, five centimeter apart. Now I would like to locate that position uh, of a point which is equidistant from A and B. It suggests that the, our first point is the midpoint and that's where the idea of bisector comes from. So we need to construct a perpendicular bisector of the line AB. So like we say, locus uh, is the application of uh, this topic on locus is actually the application of geometric construction. So all we need in this uh, particular um, construction 
is to know how to construct a perpendicular bisector of a given line and that's what you want to do so you open up your pair of compasses a distance or a radius such that uh, we get more than a half of the line by estimating and therefore we make an arc above the line and below the line and without changing the radius we move to point B and strike an arc one above and another one below so that they intersect the two the arcs we made first and the ones we have made later we make sure they intersect so go to point A let have the sharp point of your compass at A open up your pair of compasses a radius greater than a half of the length of the line and strike an arc and then strike another arc below and shift the sharp point to B and repeat that uh, procedure then join the intersection of the arcs we can use uh, a straight edge I have this uh, set square can join that up now and there we have the line um, the position of point P the very first position is here we know we know that when P is there the distance from A to P is equal to the distance from B to P in other words this is equal to that and therefore it satisfies the condition that point P is equal distance from A as it is from B now with the perpendicular bisector we can also see that any other point on this line for example if we open up to that point if we go to B we, we can confirm that uh, the point we had marked here here is also equidistant that that distance from A to this point is equal to from B to that point and the same applies to all other points on this line and therefore the path followed by P so that it is always equidistant from A and B is actually the perpendicular bisector of the line AB. So the locus of a point that moves such that it is always equal distance, equidistant means equal distance uh, from two other fixed points, the fixed points A and B and uh, we've seen it is actually the perpendicular bisector of the line AB so the locus is here and that's why we have put the point P there any point on this line satisfies that condition of being equal distance uh, from A and from B so we are going to stop there but for your homework you could draw the locus draw the locus of point P that uh, moves such that it is always equidistant from M and N ten centimeter apart. We can do that on uh, at home and confirm that we are able to get the perpendicular bisector. As you can see in this case, it will be the perpendicular bisector of the line MN. So we stop there, and until next time, when we look at the angle bisector locus, it's goodbye from me.